going on, everybody? What is going on, people? Jeez. I swear to God, it's like, you know, I go on this tangent where I put up a bunch of videos, or a couple videos anyway, and then all of a sudden I'm like, nowhere to be found for like three days. And that's not good. I gotta get better at being more, more, uh, on top of things. But anyway, so, we're having another lovely car edition. Now, I actually like doing it in the car for a couple reasons. One, the lighting is always good, as long as it's in the daytime for the most part, even though I am in the shade right now. Um, two, because it's just different scenery for the most part, and you don't have to worry about, you know, being indoors and, and whatnot. And even though I'm in a car, I'd rather be in a car than outside where all the bees are because they're gross. And there's too many different kinds, and I don't like it. Anywho, last week I did a little teaser video, which I hope you enjoyed, about the Stingray clone by Infident. So let's um, let's just talk briefly about what this is, okay? Uh, the Stingray, uh, or at least this one particular one, is black. Uh, it does have some really neat, um, pretty deep etching um, of the stingray, I'm assuming it's their mascot, um, it doesn't look like a stingray, it looks more like a swan, um, it's got like a swan neck, and then some sort of like weird design, I don't know, I don't see a stingray, but whatever, it doesn't matter, um, so it's got that nice little, um, you know, deep, uh, pretty deep, um, you know, logo, whatever, and, uh, I don't have it with me, obviously, because I'm in the car, but in on the um, the other piece that it comes with, so you can switch to, like, 18350 mode or 18500, I think, are the two. I'm not, I can't remember. Um, well, not that I can't remember, but I think it's those two that are generally the, the extra tubes. So, sorry, you know my videos are quirky. Um, but anyway, they have they'll have the logo on the other piece as well, so you'll always have that, the same feel, which I, I mean, I'm the nemesis. I guess it has to do with the battery tubes and, and what battery tubes they give you, like whether it be the, the one with the markings on it and one with a knot, you know, like the nemesis, it's the extra tube is the top, so, you know, you're obviously not going to need anything on the top because there's nothing on the top, whereas this one, the extra tube is the bottom, so it comes with the logo on it, so. Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. I still haven't jumped into doing the 18350 mode, which I think I need to do. I think I need to see these little, these mods, like tiny mods, <laughs> and be all excited about it. It's got the same type of locking feature as the Nemesis, so if anybody's familiar with that, it's basically just a ring that you turn very simply for the most part, um, one way or the other, and it locks. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, like seven seconds, and I've locked it. No big deal. Um, the button is interesting because a lot of these buttons you find like will have something in the bottom. This one's smooth as hell and I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of like to have a little bit of texture on the bottom. I don't know why, but it just feels better. I like these little, you know, these little details in the, in the button and it has it on the top cap as well. You can see that, um, you know, it's kind of got these little... Uh, tri uh, triangle. <laughs> Stupid! I'm so dumb. It's not a triangle. It's a rectangle. Uh, little rectangles, um, you know, kind of cut out, and then it's showing um, a coppery brass color. So it's neat. I mean, it, it's not. Um, you know, this is different than any other one I own because it's not stainless steel or brass. It's black, and I don't know this like smooth coating. I was told by um, somebody to put a co couple coats of nail polish, which I have yet to do. Let me take a break uh, and show you guys how this performs real quick because I don't want to take the atomizer off and show you what the uh, button looks like until, or the top cap looks like until I had a vape. Is that like not like understandable? Come on. <sighs> Cheers. beautiful as you can see the button is pretty easy and there it, it is a magnet which thank god for that but um there is sometimes a give i mean you have to if you're into mechanicals you know there is not only a learning curve as to how to adjust and per and make them perfect to fire all the time 
and how to fit your atomizer on there, but you know that there is always some sort of upkeep when it comes to your button. You know, your button becomes a little loose, it becomes, uh, you know, maybe cl too clicky or it catches and you have to take it off and adjust the pin. So, I mean, as a mechanical, uh, mechanical mod user, you know that's true and you know you have to do it. So, you just deal with it. Even, even right here, there's like this little tiny gap and I know that if I take this apart and I fiddle with it, I'm going to get that gap away. But this little tiny gap is not big enough for me to notice or care about. So, um, so as far as the button, I does I do like the button. There has been a little bit of tricky firing things or whatever, but I feel like I'm getting to the point where it's firing better, and I feel like it's starting to to grow on me, and I'm starting to realize that, you know, how I have it set now is the way it should be set. So let's take another toke, and we'll find out if it works good. It really does fire very nicely, I gotta say. And, uh, you know, I haven't had any weird feelings when I hold this. In fact, this this very, you know, um, smooth surface, I really, really actually kind of dig. So, and it's not big. It's kind of like the Nemesis style, you know. It's like very, it's, it's kind of a dainty mod, you know. I mean, when you look at this compared to, like, something like the Panzer, or, you know, the Hades, obviously, being huge. You know, you're getting this really, you know, nice size mod, beautifully colored with the etching, and just very kind of sexy. Now, let's talk about something that I really am irritated with about this mod, okay? I'm going to take off this atomizer, even though I just saturated it in some wicked good juice. Uh, one thing, obviously, we all know, we have to clean our our mods before we use them. Well, this one seemed to be especially dirty, okay? And even now, I cleaned it, and it's still looking pretty janky. No, not janky, but you know what I mean. So, the contacts on this, there's this little tiny thin thing. If you can see that, it's kind of an irritation, you know? It doesn't really, it feels like you should spend an hour twisting it like this and not know if you're actually getting it to tighten or not. And I don't like that. I like feeling like there's some meat to the, to the thing. Now, a plus side of that is the fact that I haven't really had much issues with battery rattle at all. So that's really good. The threads on the Infinite, are pretty quiet. I don't know if you could hear. I mean, there's like a little tiny sound. Um, but that part of it has been really, really nice. Um, like I said, let's take apart. Well, I ain't going to take apart the button because I'm in a car and that just wouldn't go over well. Pretty similar to any button you've seen out there. You know. It's got the, it's got the little pin thing or screw. Um, if you notice, this button right here doesn't have this big give to it, which I thought was kind of cool. You know, um, it does, and it doesn't move a lot. That's one of the things I will say. You know, as far as having to putz around with it, yes, I have had to putz around with it, but it hasn't been because the the screw has become loose and I need to like go in there and tighten it down so there isn't this huge gap. Um, there is just like this little tiny, see that? I mean, that's a nice button. After you get it to where you you know it's set, it really works. And I used to like have to like use two fingers on it, but now I just got the one. Beautiful. So yeah, so what is my, what is the end result of the Stingray clone by Infinite? Um, I think it's gorgeous. I really have been enjoying it. I'm psyched to have a black mod, a uh, mechanical mod. I'm psyched to have something that doesn't have that metal-y feel to it. Um, so I guess I do like the finish on it. Um, I was told, to, I, I don't know if I mentioned this, to put the black, uh, coat of clear nail polish on it to protect it, and I haven't done so, which I do have to do, because I do think it would make a big, huge difference. So, um... If anybody out there is looking for a mechanical mod that is not like 
a metal one that's going to have that feel of metal or brass, which I just don't like the feel of brass. Like my King V2 I love, but I still, like it's almost like the edges of it are feel like they're splintery, you know. I don't know what the hell that is, but um, this is a great fucking mod to, to choose. I just, I'm enjoying it. It feels nice in your hand. It hits well. The button's kind of freaky a little bit sometimes, but again, it's all learning curves, you know? You have to be able to get in there and play around with this shit. If you don't want to do that, then stay away from a mechanical mod, you know? If you don't want to spend the time to take it apart and understand how it's made, understand how it works, and, you know, troubleshoot little issues here and there you know if if when you're using a mechanical mod or anything in general and something doesn't work right and you just like look to somebody else and say here fix it you probably don't want to use that however the cool part about this community is that we are a pe we are a people that like to help so and I think it's because we are all so passionate about doing it and we love it and I think we hold such a huge uh, level of importance on it because it helped us get off cigarettes that we're so willing to jump in and help out uh, because we want other people to have the same feeling. So um, so don't ever hesitate to ask people or myself or anybody if you're having issues. And if you have a great um, you know, vape shop in the area, you should be able to just bring them into the, you know, to the guy or whoever and, and you know, say, hey, this is like, even if they, you didn't buy it there, I would hope that most vape shop people would say, yeah, no problem, we look at it and help you figure it out. So, um, so yeah, that's all I got for the Stingray. I would definitely recommend this mod to anybody, uh, even especially, I should say, uh, people out there that are looking for a nice hand feel who don't like to carry really super heavy um, ones. This has got a little weight to it, but nothing to where you actually can't you know, it's like the equivalent of a cup of coffee or something. So, let me take another uh, my, another toke off this bad boy, and I will be so happy. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous! Stay fabulous, people.